In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate percentile scores for a particular data set comprised of 10 scores uh, with a variable called push-ups and uh, using SPSS 17. One way to do that is to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then choose Explore. Under Explore, you would locate the variable of interest and move it under independent list. And then under statistics, make sure you have percentile selected. You can unselect everything else. Click continue. And then under display, instead of both, which is the default selection, select statistics. And then click OK. It generates a table. And that table you have on the left hand side the, uh, the variable of interest and then the percentiles the fifth through the nine fifth percentiles and then the raw scores associated with each one of those now sometimes it's uh, helpful to know uh, specifically the percentile score for each data point on your data set in order to do that I'm going to show you another procedure I would go to analyze descriptive statistics and then here I would choose frequencies same way you would locate the variable of interest and move it under variables or variable and then under statistics make sure uh, everything else is unselected because I want to make it very simple and continue and then make sure you have display frequency tables selected click OK and take a look at your output in SPSS. On the left hand side where the first column you have uh, your uh, raw scores and then the frequencies associated with each raw score. But uh, the cumulative percent uh, percentages uh, are the most important uh, numbers here to uh, look at. Uh, for example if I want to look at uh, the score, the raw score of 21 and the percentile for that particular score is 80th percentile. Sometimes I want to be even more precise and then there's another procedure that uh, you have to uh, complete in order to get that. In order to complete this procedure you have to first, uh, you don't have to but I'd like to, uh, to sort my data. In this case I believe it's already sorted but uh, if it wasn't then I would go to data, sort cases, and then uh, re uh, eventually your uh, variable of interest will be, or variables of interest will be all on the left hand side. I would move uh, to the right and then choose ascending and then click OK. Uh, go back to my data and then you would have your data uh, sorted. Uh, first, the, the next thing I want to do is to go to data and uh, I'm sorry, I want to go to transform and then choose rank cases. That's the a required step in order to calculate uh, the percentiles, uh, percentile score for each data point. Uh, select that rank scores, and uh, select the variable of interest and move it, uh, move, it move it over under variable. And um, and that's pretty much it. You don't have to change anything else. Leave everything uh, the default uh, as the default, and then click OK. Let's go back. Let's go back to our data. What it does, it it, it generates or creates another variable. It, it's called R push, R for rank order, and uh, basically what it does, it uh, uh, ranks your data set, uh, your data uh, set, from the smallest to uh, the highest score. And um, next, what you have to do is to create an expression that will calculate the percentile scores for each data set. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, first I'm going to go to uh, transform and then uh, compute variable. Now I did it, I did this uh, previously so I'm going to uh, go ahead and delete everything so that I can redo it. First, I'm going to select uh, the variable that uh, um, I created, the rank, uh, the rank order variable, 
and then uh, I'm going to give a name, uh, let's say percentile. Uh, push score and then move it over to the numerical expression and then create my expression that will calculate the percentile scores. Uh, I have to subtract that variable or the scores that will be under that variable uh, by 0.5 and then I want to divide everything by 10 which is uh, the total number of scores that I have for my data set in this case 10 and then multiply everything by 100 and give me space here and because I want this to work I need to use par uh, parentheses so let's go ahead and uh, add a parenthesis here all the way to the end and then I need one more here and one more here. So since I have two other ones, I'm going to close and I have three parentheses closing here. I think this will work. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. And click OK and go back to my data set. Now if I look at this column that I just created, uh, it gives the percentile scores for each data point that I have in my data set. This is a more precise percentile score uh, associated with uh, my data set. So there you have. Uh, in the first procedure we used um, an option in SPSS called Explore and we created, uh, we generated percentiles, but it's uh, it gives you a ballpark of uh, uh, percentiles for your data set and then we uh, got a little bit more precise and we use uh, frequencies and we got uh, these numbers over here but then you are to be uh, very precise with regards to uh, percentile scores associated with each data point we uh, use a different procedure using transform and rank order uh, I hope this is uh, was helpful